fire and ice has forged this island in the North Atlantic. Their explosive combination under this glacier now has global consequences. We decided to experience the ash cloud close up, so drove from the north of the volcano around its western edge. Past plunging waterfalls, we soon reached the curtain of ash. At the moment, we're just south of the mountain system, on top of which the, the glacier sits and where the volcano is located. And you can see, looking to the west, it's relatively clear over there. There's a very strong northerly wind that's, uh, that's hitting us uh, from the Arctic, and you can really feel that Arctic chill. And then you start to see the plume come from the volcano and then follow that plume along and you see this dark dense cloud full of particles full of glass full of grit full of dust that's coating uh, the farmland beneath and it's this which is finding its way into the atmosphere and floating over Europe at the moment and now heading towards the eastern seaboard of the United States. Back in the car, we drove towards the ominous cloud, the sunlight quickly obscured. Daylight turned to twilight. Shuttered farms blanketed by the ash, coating straw bales and turning fields into an unwelcoming landscape. High winds whipped up dust devils. After 20 minutes, we emerged at the coastal town of Vik, which was enveloped by the ash on Saturday night. In the local supermarket, they stock up on supplies. The eruption a reminder of an even greater threat on their doorstep, another volcano. The name is Katla and uh, she is in Mirdalsjökull. We have about two hours to, to, to leave our houses because the danger is the water comes down and the seas, sea will come to us. So uh, that's the danger. Volcanologists say they can't predict whether Katla will follow its smaller neighbor, but history suggests it could. This volatile area of such a volatile island could yet offer more surprises and challenge our 21st century lives.